Hi guys, I am Glenn with Mr. Crafty Man. Today I'm going to be making two videos. This one here is going to be true to the channel. This is a craft. So once again, I haven't said it in a few weeks, but good crafternoon. What we're going to be using today is a new item that I have that's called a glow forge. And I originally bought this, uh, this glow forge with my business in mind but there's so many arts and crafts that you can do with it. I'll show you a few of the things I've made with it. Um, I made this little sign here and the uh, laser just went ahead and, and engraved in the wood and that was one of the first things that I made. Um, then I made this little, I don't know exactly what you would call this, um, let me see if I can zoom in on it a little here. So what what I'm doing with this little box, I put a little note on it here and it says please sign a heart or a leaf and drop it in the frame. And you can see it has a pen here and you can cut out little leaves or you can cut out hearts and everything or both. And what happens is people instead of a guest book um, or even uh, you could still use a guest book and have them write like wishes for the couple and something on it they can write whatever they want on the little leaf and then these little doors open up and they can put it inside and I want you to see how intricate the and detailed the work in this is this here has no it doesn't have glue or or nails or screws holding it together. It's kind of like a little puzzle. And you can see this is made of wood too, by the way. So the Glowforge cut all of this out. And then you just kind of stick it together. If you wanted to, you could even paint it. Um, I just got this glow forward so I haven't gotten into painting anything yet. Um, then yesterday for Thanksgiving my wife comes to me and says I don't have a napkin holder can you make me a napkin holder? So this here did not take me long. I made this really neat wooden Thanksgiving napkin holder. and. Uh, a lot of these projects are in the Glowforge uh, dashboard. What I really wanted to buy the, the Glowforge for was for like engraving, laser engraving metal. So this is a little flag I engraved on a dog tag. And on the other side, you can engrave whatever you wanted. And something that I collect is uh, presidential autographs and memorabilia. Um, and not just presidential, but a lot of things that uh, from people who are who are really special or unique too. Um, and I frame a lot of it. So what I did is I have got these little metal plates. See if I can do it without a reflection being on it. And this one here says. Edwin Buzz Aldrin Jr., second man on the moon, Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. And I'm sure that there's going to be some sort of a naysayer that pops up on this video and refutes the fact that astronauts were actually on the moon. And what I made that little tag for is this. And what I have got here is a picture of Buzz Aldrin on the moon. And at the bottom of it is a check 
that he had written and signed. So I got his autograph one way or another. And this check was written uh, on January 22nd, 1979. But you can see his autograph at the bottom. So I don't know if he gives autographs or not, but I've got that one. And what I plan to do is put this little tag right on the frame at the bottom. So it's going to be really nice. But what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making a dog tag for my little dog Sophie. And she's not in here pestering me today. So I wish she was. She's a cute little girl. My favorite little dog, a little Yorkie. So this is one that I made yesterday and I kind of screwed it up because I wasn't paying attention and I put the wrong telephone number on the back of it. So I've got to change it. So what we are going to do is we are going to go over to the Glowforge and I have got a tag inside there. I'm going to show you the placement and we'll get it placed and after we get it placed then what we'll do is we'll go over to the computer, we'll put the wording on it and then we'll start printing. So I will see you at the Glowforge. Okay so this is the Glowforge. It's pretty good sized. Um, when I ordered it I did not realize just how big it is but then it got delivered in a semi truck on a pallet and this thing is it's about 38, 38 inches wide and it's 21 inches uh, deep or across and let me tell you how thick it is Looks like it's about nine inches thick. And something that's really important with the Glowforge is to know how big things you can put inside of it are. Like how tall, because you can't just put anything inside of it. And I would say you've probably got about an inch and a quarter so you can put something about an inch and a quarter tall inside of it to engrave it so in here right now i have got um let me see if i can get you over here to see i've got my little dog tag down here and i put it on a white piece of paper because this honeycomb board inside here if i was to put something black on top of it you're not going to be able to see it and somebody's probably thinking wait a minute won't the laser burn the paper no, it won't, because we're only going to be engraving on the tag. So, you can also see, right up here, there is a camera on the Glowforge. So when I close the lid, the camera will take a picture of what's on the print bed, and it will transfer it to the computer. And you can see how it lights up as soon as I close it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the computer and once we get to the computer, we'll put the text on and I'll, I'll uh, move it around and show you what it's going to look like. So we are over here at the computer now. So what I'm going to do up here at the top, I'm going to push this T for text. And here comes some text, but we want to go over here and I want to type in Sophie. And I think I'm going to keep that font. Let's click here and Sophie appears right here. So let's size this so it'll fit. And that looks pretty good. So then what we've got to do is we've got to enter our print settings. Something that I've been doing a lot 
where it wants you to tell you what material you're using. I'll just say like like this medium uh, basswood. Then I'll go here to, and to engrave. I want to engrave and we go to manual and for these tags I like to set the speed on about 700 and I'll set the power on full and then we'll go over here and we're going to push this print button right up here in the upper right and now what's happening is the Glowforge is auto focusing and we may have to move our text once it finishes doing this. So it says it's preparing to print. Okay, now you can see here that it moved my lettering down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push cancel print. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to move it back up to where I want it. So that looks good. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to push print again. And let's wait till it stops spinning. This is very important to do this because if you don't, you could be ruining a lot of your materials. Because you think everything's good, you push print, you go over to your Glowforge and you wait for what they call the magic button to start flashing. You push it and then it starts starts laser engraving or cutting and you see that it's off. So we're good now. It's staying in the center. So let's go back over to the Glowforge. Okay, we are over at the Glowforge now and our magic button is flashing. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, I know I can't get the camera all the way down there so you can see the angle. But this is supposed to take 39 seconds, it's telling me. So let's go ahead and push print. And you can see it goes reasonably quick. Just about finished. Okay, and now you can see how well it did. Is it going to focus? So, it laser engraved Sophie. So let's go back over to the table. I will meet you over there. Okay, so we are back over at the craft table and we have got the tag done. And it turned out very well. And I also put the phone number on the back of it, but I'm not going to turn that around because even though this is a crafty channel, we still have people who scream for tolerance and acceptance and diversity but what I've learned is that only applies if you believe what they believe. You're not allowed to be a free thinker and think for yourself. Um, so this tag turned out really really well and I want to show you another project. While I was making the um, napkin holder for my wife for Thanksgiving I got to thinking you know we don't have a napkin holder for Christmas and this Thanksgiving one says gather on it. I guess you could still use that for uh, Christmas time because everybody does gather together. But get ready for this and this isn't some cheap Chinese garbage that you buy at Walmart either. This is something that I made by hand. And this is acrylic. This is something else that I really like about the Glowforge. And I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it better. Look at that. And how 
intricate and fine these laser cuts are. I mean, it's great. Look at that. And we will probably, um, as it gets closer to Christmas, we'll probably do some some Christmas items. We may end up doing uh, some Christmas t-shirts or something. But um, I don't have a ton of subscribers on this channel. So every subscriber counts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a prize. I, I tried to give this prize away before, but at the time I think that the channel only had, um, I think it maybe only had like 20 subscribers at the time. So what I'm going to do uh, is I am going to give away a, uh, a coffee mug press. And this is one that you can use to, to do sublimation on your own coffee mugs. So what you have got to do to enter to win this is I want you to leave a comment on this video. And what I'll do in one week, I'm going to write down everybody's name who left a comment and I will do a drawing. And whoever's name I draw out of that cup, um, I'll give you one additional week to email me your address and your name and then I will send it to you. If the winner does not email me their address and name, we'll pick someone else. So that is our craft project for today. I, I will probably do another craft project on Sunday since I missed quite a bit of time due to kidney disease. Um, so I think what we'll probably do on Sunday is we will make, um, we'll do a laser engraved little glass bottle with fairy lights inside of it. And I actually made one of them for my daughter-in-law. Um, let me see if I can show it to you here real quick. I don't know if the picture will show up on my phone. Um, but it was just something kind of neat that I made for my daughter-in-law. And the fairy lights are inside, and they're not turned on here, so you may have a problem seeing it. Isn't that neat? And what I have on it, it says, everything you can imagine is real. And then I've got her name on the other side of it, and I will show you a picture if I have one with the lights on, and I do. And I would have rather put white furry lights inside of it, but I only had multiple colored, and these ones will stay on solid or they'll flash. So that's what we're going to plan on making on Sunday. So I will get another video posted on Sunday, and we'll go through and we'll make... Uh, the little fairy light bottle with the engraving on it. So I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate that you guys are all here to watch this video. I had been really sick. I'm much better now. For those of you following my channel, I've got a few videos posted detailing my entire story. Um, but yeah, uh, like and subscribe and comment on the video and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.